Before we jump into this next video of the Italia run, I would really like to thank everyone who watched and reacted to the first video. Uh, this video has blown up my channel a little bit and uh, it has gotten me into Chewy Shoots Discord as a multiplayer mod where I'm going to be organizing a multiplayer game this next Wednesday, by the way. Be there or be square. Uh, yeah, so just thank you and, uh, you know, let's get right into it. Anyway, we're back here in post finem. We are Italia. We just won the league war, but because we are a, a woman, Isobal, the event spawned ruler for this country, uh, we were not eligible to be emperor. So for this next uh, video, I really have two goals. First of all, uh, I want to become emperor and unite the Italian Federation. Second of all, it's time to make sure that uh, Carthago de Lendum Esse, if you know what I mean. We're gonna go after Carthage. Uh, I already did some pre-work for that in the League War by taking all this land in Iberia. I would love to murder Suebi as well, by the way. So yeah, that all being said, I do have some uh, pre-work to do first. Of course, we just took a lot of land. We don't have the admin points to core it. So yeah, we do have a lot of things to do here. Um, we need to uh, integrate all the land that we just took. I think I'm going to start by concentrating development from Rome or the Rome province Latium. We're going to get 333 in our capital. That's really good. Uh, what is our capital at now, actually? Medlanum. 44 dev. That's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Anyway, uh, that uh, being done, we're st going to start coring Rome and Ostia. And these other three are going to have to wait for a little bit. Anyway, we're going to kill those rebels. And then uh, we're going to start working on uh, allying electors. And we don't exactly know who those electors are going to be yet. Because we have a new emperor. Which is uh, Theogonia. Which is... What country? Is this tiny little country in the toe of Italy. Meanwhile, we're here occupying uh, half the fucking subcontinent and we are not the emperor because we're a woman. Oh well. We did also complete a mission, but that's the Defend Serenza mission. And as I think I mentioned last time, uh, we need to integrate them before taking that because otherwise all it's going to do is add three dev to this province and then we're just going to have to uh, integrate that for more Diplo points. So that's probably a good first thing to start doing with our diplomats is to uh, improve relations uh, right over here. Uh, it's all the way up here. Yep. Then we can build a bunch of buildings. There is courthouses to build. How is our governing capacity? Doing? Okay, we don't have to worry about governing capacity quite yet. So I would rather focus on economy. Workshops are kind of useless though right now. Temples are kind of useless right now. Barracks are kind of useless right now. And basically everything is kind of useless right now. So maybe then it would be good to upgrade our centers of trade. But we already did that except for this one. And we don't have a merchant there. So that's not useful either. So then, I think, honestly, what we do is we upgrade our great project. We upgrade the temple of not Juno, but Jupiter. Ides Jovis does not mean Juno, it means Jupiter. So let's go ahead and upgrade this. Um, we're going to go from minus 5 development cost in the province to minus 10 development cost in the province. But the final upgrade will give us minus 10% development cost in the region regions yeah that's like all of northern italy we'll get minus 10 percent dev cost huge so yeah um we're probably gonna go ahead and just start upgrading this for the first time we do have 6.9 inflation apparently aha uh -huh, that's a lot of inflation yeah and it's increasing because of our gold income hmm we do already have the trade advisor, so if we could get an inflation guy, that would be really, really good. So what I'm actually going to do, just uh, to start out this session, really, first real move. I'm going to fire these guys. 
and I'm gonna wait until I, uh, well, not the level three one, and I'm gonna wait until I uh, get an inflation guy. It looks like also our military access was canceled. So now we do need those transports I made or am making. Anyway, let's wait until uh, those are finished. We're rolling the time. Okay, we don't have an inflation guy. We have two level three guys though. Let's fire only the level one guy. Also, let's drill our armies while we don't need them. There we go. Stab cost. Nope. Again, national tax. Fire him. Oh, we are getting called into a war against Sutherweald and Waldhart. These two guys. We will just accept that. That's fine. And we will just uh, we'll move a bit away from the border. Let's move our 28k stack over to Genoa. These guys can keep drilling. Oh, Sienna entered a military coalition against me. Interesting development. Oh, and there we go. We have the inflation guy. So let's take him. We're still making like 44 ducats. We're getting 15 ducats in war whips. That might be an anomaly. Someone getting an event. Florence military coalition. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we are getting a coalition. That's fine. Oravia also entered a military coalition against us which i think is this country i think we took some of their old cores so i kind of really blame them do we have any transports that we have one that's not enough we need more uh, i think i'm mostly building transports right now some of them are almost finished Carth oh carthage joined the coalition against us that's interesting so let's look how bad that is Okay. Suebi would love to join. Cannot until 1519 for another 10 years. Macedonia doesn't really give a shit. Illyria would love to join. Yeah, so overall, I, I think it's no, no problem, really. Also funny that Gaul was our ally in the League War, but they're actually our rival. Which I don't blame them for, because I'm definitely coming for their land. So our yearly inflation is going down by 0.1 now, but we have like 6.9. So once I have some admin, I could consider buying it down. Oh, and our slackening recruitment was just stopped. We should have stopped it uh, manually, actually. Okay, so let's check out the Italian Federation. There is a bunch of new uh, electors. I think we should start editing our alliances, so to speak. Ostholm, Saxony. Yeah, the problem is that we have a bunch of vassals. And we cannot really get rid of them. Well, of course we're going to get rid of... Um, Sorrenza soon. Oh, actually, we are being sieged. Uh, let's get our... Smallest stack. Because that's our gold province. We, we cannot miss that. Let's uh, try to get rid of these guys. We'll just go in with no morale. That we're way too overpowered anyway. Our vassal's also getting sieged down. We'll wait one more month for that. And now we're gonna go just murder him. Yeah, run away. You better. Yeah. This is our three siege general. Eight cannons. Oh, uh, let's also convert stuff. While we can. You know what? I could buy inflation down a bit. We are way ahead of tech. We already completed our administrative idea group. I think we'll do it once. Just once, though. And then I think we just buy the upgrade. It's fine. I don't really care. Okay, we won that siege already. Let's go take that one. <laughs> we went from minus 21 to 35 just by my army arriving there. And that's not even my best siege general. We're almost at the point where we can annex Sorenza. Okay. Well, that siege is one as well. There is another fort here in Saltusburg. Where we started 0% as well. How long are those siege ticks? 25 days. Ah. Uh, eh, could be shorter. And it will get shorter.
I promise. We could also consider building some actual manufactories. These are grain provinces, of course. And in most cases, I would be like, you know, I want to build uh, soldiers' households there instead of the actual manufactories. But it's so early in the game, I think they'll pay themselves back even if I build the soldiers' households later. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Let's put all our ships together. Okay, that's the Siege of Saltusburg. I think that's enough now. We can now go home and just mm, not get involved anymore. Or, oh wait, they're outnumbered? No, no, they won that battle. I'm sure they're fine. They are fine. We could already take Miltech 10. But we'll wait. Let's dev a bit. Let's uh, make this even cheaper to dev though. We'll put on the Encourage Development Edict. And we'll just pour some points into there. We'll just pour some points into there. I think that uh, should be good for now. They keep coming at me with this pop-up for the Scholar. I'm not appreciating it. Okay, we can make a decent workshop now. 0 0.07. Looks like our allies really need some help. So let's uh, unleash our 28k stack again. Oh, we lose two war exhaustion. Very good. Oh, that's even better. Now let's go kill them as well. Oh, I forgot about the separatists over here. Actually. Hmm. We also need a new uh, rival, but we cannot really do that. Yeah, we do have a bunch of extra transports now, so let's transfer them all over. Make them one fleet. We just uh, wiped that other army over there. Let's get our 28k army down here. 15 transports is good. Let's send these guys back. Oh, we can just walk there? Uh, it's probably because we're at war. Okay, that's good. Well... We won't need them for now, though, but once we're at peace and we don't have access through these guys, we will need them. We can even walk in Suebi. Let's just go kill these guys. That was not very hard. Get that province back. Okay, let's have a look at the Empire stuff, though. We do want to become Emperor. So, Theogonia. I'm sure you would love to be my ally, right? So let's ally Theogonia. Uh, let's dissolve our alliance with Ostholm. They've been good friends, don't get me wrong. We're still in a war with them. Ah, actually, we'll do Saxony first. We'll dissolve Saxony first. They're farther away, the bigger, more of a threat in the long term. But kind of, like, I feel so overpowered as a station right now that I kind of want to get rid of big allies just to have it be more fun. So if you just waltz over everything in this game, it's... I mean, it's satisfying, but it's not as fun as winning a difficult war, you know? Let's, by the way, uh, put root out corruption all the way to the max. Alright, that's that war done. So now, let's ask for some ducats from Ossom. And now we will dissolve the alliance, giving us another free slot. And with that free slot, we will ally whoever likes us the most in here. Salerno seems to like us, but they don't want to ally us. Because of their opinion, that's the only reason. Otherwise, there is Nova Moria. They really don't like us. So let's go for Salerno. Let's improve relations with them. Salerno. So we now have a 68 force limit. In 1512. Pretty good. That's uh, more troops than Carthage has. Theogonia is emperor again. Oh, and now that we are no longer at war, he doesn't like me enough anymore, but we could very well soon start integrating him. So I think I'm just going to send them some money. We need, what, nine relations? I'll send them 50 duckies. And with those 50 duckies, I will annex him. Now, this will probably take a little bit. The Adirim has done a reform, giving us all manpower. 
especially him now. I could add provinces to the federation, but why would I do that when I'm not emperor yet? Okay, colonialism has just spawned in Reykjavik. Okay, that's interesting. There, an institution spawned on Iceland. Yeah, that's gonna be a while for anyone else to get, I think. Even Suebi, who have almost completed exploration ideas. Okay, let's uh, do it by order of unity. Let's do the most uni unification and like ones first. I don't know. I'll pick another bonus though. I think I'll go for missionary strength for now. The military bonuses are nice, but we don't need them until later. And uh, there's other holy sites here in Sicily, Rome. You know, we'll, we'll get there. 52 ducats in Italia in 1513. It's pretty crazy, isn't it? I don't see any notes even vaguely compared to that. Okay, maybe Alexandria is getting slightly in the right direction. Carthage, though. Meh. Big meh. Italia is the big node. Uh, should I state that as well? I feel like anything on the Mediterranean coast should be stated. So I'm going to do that. Uh, we don't have a merchant there, though. Not yet, anyway. So I don't think there's much point upgrading our trade center there yet. Uh, we can enact a government reform, though. Ooh. Um, yeah, I'm afraid it's going to have to be military engineering. We're going to stack that artillery. Uh, all those artillery bonuses, really. I cannot wait to take firepower ideas. It's going to be ridiculous, this. Combined with all those other things. With assimilation, we get even more siege ability. With economic, we get even more artillery combat ability. With religious, we get 5% discipline. With espionage, we get even more siege ability and max general siege. That's huge. So that means you technically could get a 7 siege general. Ridiculous. Chewy, if you're watching this, like Italy is not just overpowered because it's Italy. It's also the idea groups. Uh, they synergize incredibly well with this country. Like, you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you later in this video how ridiculous I can siege. Okay, we'll get another trade uh, guy because we still haven't gotten the event for the monarch points. What's our cheapest province to dev right now? Verona. I could honestly consider just dipping colonialism right here. I know I'm in the middle of Europe, but colonialism spawned in fucking Iceland. Why would I not? Really? I do have a bit of coalition, know me. And truces and everything, yeah. I could declare on Punicum, though. That would be a great war to fight. I'm gonna start building a spy network on Punicum. I mean, I wanna, like, chill a little bit and integrate Serenza first. And I also wanna focus on this Italian Federation stuff. But before Isabel dies, we cannot do that anyway. And we do want that coastal connection to our Iberian land as soon as possible. And I'll actually put a... Oh, an edict here. I'm gonna pour some uh, mill points into you. You have a bunch of colonialism now. 15% already. Mm. Yeah, you know what? More and more I'm thinking... Fuck it. We're just gonna spawn colonialism right here. Um, we still have the core stuff, but I still just wasted all my uh, admin points. But that's all fine. You know what? You don't have to mid-max everything when you're an EU4 YouTuber, you know? You can just, you know, click buttons. Do this. You can just do this. Look. Oh, God, colonialism. Oh, oh no. So non-meta. Okay, so now we have colonialism in the middle of uh, Verona. And, uh, yeah, 
we're gonna spread it hopefully only to ourselves we're too op chewy we are too op let's build all these workshops ah and church we need to burn carthage we can build a bunch more troops by the way 15 more uh, combat with 25. Ooh, no. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We had separatists while we were drilling, but we killed them anyway. Okay. 25, you say. So let's build five cavalry right here. You are at 24. Let's build one infantry, I guess. I guess we could just start building some of these big courthouses, because why not? You just spam things eventually. And now it's time for me to admit something to you. For this first little part of this video. It will probably be uh, 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes in the real video. In the output. I was drunk. And I'm gonna take a break. And when I come back, I will be sober. Oh, please, God, no. Well, funnily enough. Things actually went wrong when I was sober the next day. Because I recorded like two three hours of this playthrough and i did not have my microphone plugged in now usually i would re-record this right now but uh i have to leave town for the next three days and i really want to get this video out so what i'm gonna do instead is i'm gonna do post commentary for the next couple of years like a couple of decades and then after that i do have the last little bit of the video uh where my microphone was actually plugged in properly so you'll get that live, but right now I'm, I, I, my hands are tied here. Uh, I really want to get this video out, so I'm going to just keep going. So yeah, here we go. As you may be able to tell from what you are seeing on the screen, I decided to attack Punicum next. This was not a very difficult war, although I did have to beat up Gaul for it. I then had to go beat up Sardinia for an ally. The war I fought next was against Oravia, and it was nothing to write home about either, except that Isobal did die sometime early in that war, and yes, I did have to beat up Gaul again. Oh yes, Gaul definitely suffered at the hands of the Italian legions, but I decided not to take any land from them yet, and instead I just humiliated them and took their money. By 1527, I had connected my Iberian lands to my Italian lands. I then also killed this little green nation called Tartessia, which did not have any allies whatsoever. While all this was going on, I was slowly going down the Firepower Idea Group, and let me tell you guys, this is insane on Italia. I will show you more later. Despite the death of Isabel and a male heir taking charge of Italia, I had still not been elected as Grand Adirium. The shitty thing was that my heir was the exact same age as the current Grand Adirium, and I had a female heir as well. In the years that followed, I really started building up my country. I unlocked several new types of manufactories for which, in order to build them, I had to dev my provinces for new building slots. I built up a fleet recruited some insane generals and also built up this huge army. Suebi ended up taking significant advantage of the Gallic weakness by the way, annexing like half their country. I then got involved in two little side wars started by allies of mine that provide a good opportunity to show you just how insane Italian siege ability is. I mean, 13 day siege, 23 day siege, 11 days? I mean, when I took the special Italian age bonus, I had 67% siege ability and minus 30% shock damage received. And that excludes bonuses from army drill, by the way. During this period, by the way, I had this huge coalition that included both Carthage and Suebi. I became Grand Adirium at some point, but I can't remember exactly when. And because of my current real life situation, I cannot afford to go looking through these four or five hours of footage forever. So, you'll just have to take my word for it. Anyway, after many, many years, the coalition finally disbanded. And it was time to go to war. Alright, I am back playing after a 24-hour break. So, I just need to quickly reorient myself. Looks like we're getting some separatists here. Let's go get rid of them. Uh, let's stop drilling. Uh, I do believe we still have the coalition, right? Yes, okay. Okay, I hope that changes soon. 
another province added to the federation. It's pretty big now. Let's see here, we can make a nice little manufactory over there. I want this one as well. Next month. Nordonvik is taking on Gaul. Very nice to see. We have a Carthage with exploration ideas, but no colonies in the New World, at least. Um, let's fabricate a couple more claims on Carthage here. We definitely want this 13 dev province over here. This is 14 dev. Let's take that too. 7, 10, 9, 9. So the 10 one is next. Cartena. I think what we will do is uh, set our focus to Diplo because we are behind one Diplotech and I think my next idea group will be Espionage uh, for extra siege ability and less aggressive expansion. Ooh, we just lost our Historian. I will take the Trade Guy and upgrade him to level 3. And let's do one of these reforms, shall we? We're at 75 authority, so I think we can do that. Good. We should have done it earlier, actually, because we go to zero all the way. Ah, it's all good. Ah, this is interesting. But uh, hundred dip. But I am already a uh, defender of the faith, am I not? And why would I click that button? Just ten prestige. Ah, whatever. I'm not uh, not clicking that anytime soon. Is my truce with you up yet? new and we have military access and a royal marriage let's cancel the military access ah roma left the military coalition that's good uh, okay that's the coalition gone very nice um still have some aggressive expansion here and there okay but i do think we're gonna go after swebby and carthage at the same time we will be a bit outnumbered, but it's all good. A lot of these countries are actually in Italy, so I'll probably try to kick them out first. That should go really quickly with our siege speed. Siege speed. All right. Let's stop drilling, everyone. I will actually declare on Carthage and then do this instead. Okay, are there any more claims we can fabricate over here? Not on provinces I really want, to be honest. Maybe this one still? Yeah. Oh, there's an actual crossing through the Pyrenees now. That's interesting. Um, I will also claim this province. Then I'll keep the spy network going. Okay, so let's see. Who are we fighting? Naples. Saluzzo. Montferrat. Where the hell are you, Monfara? Oh, right there. Illyria and Soluventus. Okay. I do think we're going to be outnumbered at sea. Let's get our trade boats home. Oh, they're already doing nothing. Great. Get them to uh, Genoa. This guy over here. I will send one guy straight to Illyria. And another one can deal with Ferrara and Saluzzo. That's a bad time to get that event, isn't it? It's fine. It's fine. Um, we will declare the conquest of Granatum because we will probably occupy that first. The earliest, I should say. And we're also up against a few colonial nations, but that's all good. Let us... Go. It looks like not everyone joined. Naples didn't. Well, that's good. Let's go siege Monfra. Let's go in on this fort over here. And since Naples did not join, I guess we send this guy right up north to go siege Saluzzo. Or better yet, maybe get rid of these armies. That's one down. Go to the next. 
Okay, another four down. That's so quick. We've barely been at war a month. Let's go to your capital. Let's kill these guys. I don't really want to go into Swaby lands too soon. Let's put on a defensive edict down here. Do need all my armies, or at least two of them, together. Uh, we have that now, though, so... And that's all good. And we have 90 boats here. Let's go see if we can kill some enemy boats. Ah, it looks like Naples did join. Okay, well, that's fine. Hmm, they are sieging pretty fast themselves. Oh. Okay, I guess we're going in. We are a lot stronger. We have won the Siege of Spalatos. Let's see if we can piece these out, guys out immediately. Okay, good. Give me money. Actually, give me war reps. And I cannot enforce your religion anyway, so it's fine. Give me war reps and 50 ducats. Okay, now you can go to Naples. Alright, this is the first battle of the war won. Let's go siege our own lands back. Should I do that? I think I'm going to go siege here first. And carpet siege this entire northern part. You guys go on to Naples. You guys. Montferrat. War reps and money please. Also, can I force your religion? No, you're already Romana, right? Yeah. What about you, Sudut? So yeah, you are also already Romana, so that's completely fine. More reps, trade power, everything. It, it really doesn't matter what we take from these little guys. Of course, I do have Miltech 12. That looks like my enemies do as well, so that's, that's uh, not a big deal. Go in. Let's get these guys together over here and see if we cannot break the siege again. This is a grassland, so I, I'd love to fight there. We won Napoli. Let's go kill them. That's a stack wipe. Go straight into this army. Oh, God. Murder. Yep. They dead. We have won the Siege of Laborum, so let's split this guy up and start garbage sieging here. We will also kill this army while we're at it go we now do land fire damage plus 10 with that ruler e we lost our siege guy i will take a morale of armies guy for this war i think let's upgrade him as well because we can all right time to chill a little bit with that army let it, let it reinforce go up here up here we'll uh, siege back our lands slowly and let's get our third army back here or perhaps Oh no, it looks like our ally managed to get across the strait and is going to siege down Soliventus. That's good. So that means we... Uh, let's pass Naples first. Okay, that's good enough. We will peace out Naples. Get their trade power. There we go. Hey, they're trying to walk right past me. Let me kill them. That's another stack wipe on the Carthaginians. Let's get that province back. We'll go like so and like so. Uh, you, Quintus Paulus, or Siege, you will go straight for their capital. We could call in an ally, Nova Moria. Let's do that. Let's see if we can kill some boats. Um, looking in particular for fleets with galleys. Let's go over here. Okay, that's nice. Let's land there. Uh, 20 army tradition, definitely. Bringing us up to 100 again. Extremely powerful. That looks like a Subi army right there. Uh, it's not much of an obstacle, is it? Alright, there we go. 28% chance on the Subi capital. Let's get these guys down here. Send the one with that general over here. We'll just go there or something. And let's actually go see if we can get these forts here. It's a mountain fort, but it's fine. Alright. 
7% chance there. Ooh, 103 boats. 15 heavies. I have 10. I reckon they will probably defeat us. They have 6 maneuver as well. That's not great for us. Uh, we can get 0.4 naval morale here though. And extra combat width. So that's probably an important one. Do they have it? Yeah, they have it as well. In fact, they have Diplotech 13. Let's see what that gives us. Not much new uh, transports. Okay, we'll wait a month until we have full morale, and then we'll try to go in on Carthage here. But we'll probably lose our fleet, but uh, it's worth a try. All right, let's keep uh, sieging Subi. They have only 31,000 men left. Uh, we now already clearly outnumber our enemies. Take their coast first. That is the siege of Nisbar. Let's go siege this other fort down here. Won the siege of Almeria. See. I don't want to attack them there in the mountains. Seems a bit dangerous. This is a very good tech for us. Also, by the way, oh yeah, we did spawn printing press in Rome, didn't we? Let's see how that's going. Spreading more, definitely. Some of these little guys already have it embraced. Let's put on advancement effort in Liguria as well. <laughs> Alright, they're just coming into me. Wipe after wipe after wipe, isn't it? Ideally, we push them down into North Africa completely and then we can way more easily just completely carpet siege here. They have no manpower left. They have 35k left. I'm gonna wait one more year before I take this military technology. Alright. That's good. Let's go there. Let's go in on these boats to see how that goes. Maybe we'll finally lose a battle. Oh, they're coming for me, even. Oh, yeah. Oh. Gruesome. Both losing a lot of boats. But I look like I'm winning. Okay. I th think we lose. Yeah, they keep getting reinforcements. Okay, so... What happened here? Carthage actually captured two of my heavy ships. Oh no, actually. Yeah, they did. Uh, they lost 18 trade boats. They gained six galleys. So actually, I grew their fleet. That sucks. Okay, well, I'm just going to build a whole new uh, army of galleys everywhere. Uh, okay. And then a few heavies. Where did we have the shipyards down here, I think? Three. And three more here. And that's force limit again. Let's go kill them here. Let's go take these provinces. Uh, they are going way too far north. That's not allowed. I love how we're so fast as well. Like, no one can run away from us. We'll just catch up. <laughs> oh, by the way, shouldn't I be um, getting even more stuff? Uh, like, another 10% shock damage received lower. That would be good. Boom. Run back home, baby. Hey, they got this bar back somehow. So let's go fix that. Hey, 21,000 men with no general. Oh, very nice. No wipe. Sadly. Let's go there and there. And, oh, we lost a general. Uh, we have another really good one available, though. So let's just use him. Uh, we'll also recruit some new ones. Uh, not so good. Uh, not so good. Uh, nah, this guy's the best. Oh, these guys we can peace out. Um, have I forced your religion yet? No. Good. Everything. Uh, the new year has started. So we'll take the next military technology. And I think we just swap unit types now. This is completely fine. 
we go large cast iron cannon. On the siege of Lisbar again. Ah, there's now a wasteland here. It's very interesting what they did to Iberia with the wastelands. Okay, we have 83% war score against Subi, so let's start thinking about taking this northern stuff they have. I kind of want that. Um, all of it. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Siege all the everything. We'll move over there. That army. And with this army over here. Now the only problem is, will we be able to cross into North Africa? Because their fleet is even bigger than it started out as. As a result of my own actions. I may be able to get through now. Oh, yeah, nope. They saw that coming, alright. 4, 6, and a 6, 5. 4-6 is better. Oh, they are running into the drylands, which is perfect, actually. Get out of that bad um, terrain. Okay, we got them there in Sevilla. That is a slaughter fest. All right. And now we uh, station ourselves near Gibraltar. And we're going to have to wait a bit. Now, we can get the Subi fleet out of the war, but it's not very big. Looks like we mostly finished our first round of galleys. Let's gather everyone up here. We'll go pick them up one by one. Oh, we don't even have an admiral anymore. Very bad. Very bad. Very bad. Using all my diplo points. Very bad, very bad. Okay, this is the best one so far. We'll keep that one. That's the Subi fleet. We don't have to fight that. But I'm going to. And these four are going to join. Good. We actually lost the galley there, though. Again. Let's kill these things. They are gone. Let's put all of this in Rome. We need some repairs. Oh, it looks like we may be able to pass right now. Okay, let's go in. Yeah, we got 82,000 on the other side, so we're, we're done. Okay, that is a fort. Let's go kill that. We will have to attrition here a little bit uh, before we get the fort. I may even uh, press this button to save some manpower later. Okay, Subi. Are you ready? Okay, good. Look at that. And we can take their money as well. Oh my god, guys. We are going to cut them off from goal. Ridiculous, actually. And that's actually also without the admin efficiency that we can get, right? Because this is not finished yet. Or is it? Yeah, it's not. Let's use some money. And maybe a little bit of manpower. Get that forward. Now finished on the 2nd of March, that's fine. We'll just wait for that. Hey, we can convert a lot of provinces, but we're going to have to make them into cores first. Um, unfortunately, I cannot concentrate development at all here. So we're going to have to core everything manually. We are already at 106. What is Tolosar? Why is that so expensive to core? Oh, because it's in a state, probably. Okay. Let's score everything. Well, not everything yet. Uh, we may need a nice le level 3 uh, guy here. Let's get the construction cost guy. We really need more admin points. Alright, uh, back to the front. That is the Siege of Fazan done. Let's go there and there at the same time. You go take Pangeers. Uh -huh. And one stack wipe and one not so stack wipe. Okay, let's focus on taking out the forts first. Go there. 
Go there. Go there. Monument in Barkenham, 20 prestige. We need that, but it does give us some monarch points because it's excess prestige. 46 days for Tlemcen. Let's run to the next one. Um, Carthage has 57k, which is not a lot, really. And now they have about 12k less. Um, we we'll get um, local defensiveness forever. Go there. Oh, one of our generals died. Sadly, it was one of the generals in charge of the siege as well. I don't think they can even get here anymore. So I'm gonna split this army up into a lot of armies. There we go, something like that. One another siege over here. Kill him right there. Ooh, 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 Carthage. And let's move on the, s the city itself. The fabled city of Carthage. Beautiful. You go there. there. You get a new general. I'll give you this guy. Move over here or something. We're now number two world power. Egyptos is larger somehow. Should probably keep an eye on rebel factions though, because we're gonna get a lot of those soon. Let's go like so. Actually, let's not risk our fleet when we don't need to anymore. It's fine. We're already in Africa. There, there. Hey, that's a bit uh, a threat. Let's keep these guys together then. Uh, yeah, in fact, let's send this army home. Um, to deal with any rebels that are going to pop up real soon. Like right there, for example. Ah, 49 days to siege Carthage. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, we already have 99% war score actually, so maybe it's time we stop this, huh? Let's take all the land here for sure. Let's see if we can get all the way to Carthage. No. No, I'll give that up. Uh, maybe we just don't do that. We just do... Uh... Like so. And then this. And perhaps this. <laughs> That will be another 120% overextension, though. Uh, so I think what we do is wait. Still have more than 100k manpower. There are some separatists. Very good. So murder them. Another siege one. Still have 32k somewhere. So many pop-ups. Good, another wipe. Hey, I see another port. Ooh, a lot of separatists. Good. That's most of the factions gone already, actually. Uh, you go there. Three of you. There, for now or something. I forgot which other provinces I already sent armies to. It's fine. It's fine. <clears throat> Let's go kill. These are all done. Go there. Ooh. Two separatists at the same time again. Very good, very good. Oh no, I lost a uh, galley. Oh, that's because it was pushed out <laughs> by the rebels. That's fine. Oh, 
Um, we have all of these beautiful stacks here. Uh, whoop. 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 And you go there. And then they should be fully occupied, no? Ah, besides their islands. That is a call for peace. Ah, our glorious nation. Ship durability. Nice. <laughs> Could have used that before. Okay, I think uh, we piece them out, no? Seems like a nice first piece against Carthage. 85 ducats to boots. There we go. Can we click the mission? Though the Reapers do? No. Why? Because of this. That's a shame. But it's fine. Uh, we can still uh, pretend uh, with Cartago de Lendum Est. Let's uh, concentrate development there for sure. Uh, can we do that anywhere else? Yeah, we can do it here as well. Very nice. Uh, we're going to be at super high overextension for a little bit. Um, but that's all good. Anyway, guys, with that, we have, uh, I think, done enough for this episode. We have uh, definitely destroyed Suebi and we have definitely crippled Carthage. Uh, they are ripe for future conquests. I uh, see the rest of Gaul is looking juicy as well. And then maybe in the future we can also turn our eyes east. There are not that many challenges left for us. Um, we are well, almost the biggest uh, country in the world now. We're not level one yet though. Or number one yet though. Egypt is somehow bigger. Oh, now I'm starting to get it if I look at this name placement. But yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that, uh, this part two. If you did, do leave a like and subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, leave a comment. And um, if you want to play in a multiplayer game this Wednesday or next Wednesday or any Wednesday, head to Chewy Shoots post Finem server and come join the multiplayer. It would be fun. Anyway, until the next time, peace out.